As a homeschool mom of six kids, I have found it really challenging to stay organized, to stay on top of all of our activities, and I haven't found a homeschool planner that really helps me um, write everything down and keep track of all the things that we need to do. So instead, what I've started using is just a life planner. I don't do a lot of homeschool planning. I just try to keep track of all of my kids' activities, um, my checklist, my meal plans, things that I need to get done, and I've done that with an Erin Condren life planner. So I thought I would give you a quick tour of my life planner and show you how I've set it up to work for me. So here's my little cover. I chose the polka dots and I had my name put on it. And there, this is the little first page with my name and the inspirational quotes. There are quotes all throughout this planner. And then here are the years, kind of your yearly overview calendar. And then here are the pages for your goals. And you can see I have not done a good job of writing those in. Um, there's a section where you can write monthly goals or you could divide them up by categories. Um, I apparently have no goals because I haven't written them down. So at the beginning of each month, there is a page for notes. I use those for kind of big events for the month or any additional notes about specific activities that we have going on. So I listed all of our swim meets and where they were uh, for this month because we had quite a few in those months. And then here I made a list of our reading challenge by month of the year, kind of the different topics my kids would read about. Um, I have my social media plan for my blogging. Here's another quote. So I use a few of the stickers. I bought one of the sticker packs that just comes with it. I try not to put too many things in my planner because I don't like it to be cluttered. I do so much writing in it that it gets pretty messy. So I started off my year writing in different colors um, for the different things that we were doing. So swimming activities were blue, American Heritage Girls activities were pink. And um, toward the end of the year, I just went where everything was all written in black. It was a little bit uh, easier to read for me. So each month has a yearly or a monthly overview page and you have a section where you can write your goals. And then I chose this layout, which is the vertical layout. So I have the activities for each day. I have checklists for myself. Um, I have different things for different people. I can write my menu plan down here. I can write extra notes or things over here on the side. So that's kind of how I've set this up. I think next year I'm going to use the um, horizontal layout so I can actually have lines. I found that the boxes are pretty small. It's hard to fit a whole lot into them. And sometimes I have sections where I write um, all blogging ideas or video ideas and I just didn't have enough room to write all of that in. So I think I'll have better luck with the other layout where I can have a little more room and have the lines to write on. So here's another month. I try to use some of the birthday stickers, um, the other stickers for important dates, like um, here's a swim meet or a sleepover for one of my kids, um, different doctor's appointments. So it helps me really see those. I use some of the different icons, like these are every night we have a WANA for church. Um, so I didn't have to write it on my calendar. I can just use an icon sticker. So that's kind of how each month looks. I've put some stickers on there just to make it fun. They have the monthly sticker pack, which is really all that I used. It has some quotes and stickers. So my pages look like that before I write in them and make them really messy. And then toward the back, they have a few note pages. So here I've kind of written my goals and my vision for the year. On this page, I have some house cleaning things. I have when our kids are due for different doctor's appointments, like their dentist appointment or eye doctor. Um, I've started making a book list of books that I've read. Then they also have some graph paper here. That's fun for note taking. And then some blank pages where you could draw or doodle or um, even write more notes. And then here's the calendar for the next year. You can start writing down some big events that are upcoming and ends with a quote and then the stickers that I use. Each planner comes with some stickers. They say birthday or vacation. These have doctor's appointment, hair appointment, mani-pedi. Yeah, I've never used a mani-pedi sticker. Um, party sticker, concert, a day off. Yeah, as a mom, I don't really have those. So haven't used those stickers too much. I usually end up using the blank stickers and just writing my own things on them with a Sharpie. And then at the back, it has pockets where I can keep different things. So I found that I really don't use a lot of the extras like the dashboards. Uh, I thought that I would 
but I find that it's easier just to write directly in the planner. I use uh, the Friction Erasable Pens. I really like those because I can erase all the things that change because I'm always changing my plans, um, but it keeps my planner from being messy and I don't have to use white out. So I found that as a homeschool mom, this works best for me. I don't write a lot of homeschool plans. I just put a star on the days that we do school. If we have any big homeschool project or activity, I can write it in here. But other than that, it just kind of helps me keep track of all of our other events. So this is the planner that I found that really works for me. And I think I'm gonna continue using it even um, next year.